teacher Narisa and I would like to welcome you all in today's lesson. Let me ask you first this important question. How do the appliances at home function? Very good, with the use of electricity. Now, are you aware how much electricity do you consume in a month? All right. Some of you have a knowledge on it. The next question, what do you usually use to wash your clothes, dishes, or even taking a bath? Exactly. Basically, we need water. So, do you have any knowledge on how to compute the amount of water does your family consume in a month? Again, somehow others have tried discovering it. That's why today, at the end of the discussion, you are able to first read and interpret electric and water meter readings. Second, solve routine and non-routine problems involving electric and water consumption. And third, conserve electric and water wisely. Those three objectives must be achieved at the end of the lesson. So, let's take this problem. Mr. Kadumo is computing his monthly electrical consumption. Based on his electric bill last month, he was able to consume 125 kilowatt hours. When he checked his electric digital meter, the reading is 199 kilowatt hours. How many kilowatt hours did Mr. Kadumul consume in a month? Let's check this illustration. It shows the present meter reading. The second one is the previous meter reading. Now, for us to get the amount of electricity that Mr. Kadungu consumed, simply subtract the previous electric meter reading from the present electric meter reading. For the present meter reading, the amount of electricity consumed is 199 kilowatt hours minus the previous reading which is 125 kilowatt hours. Therefore, Mr. Kadumo consumed 74 kilowatt hours of electricity for this month. Can you follow? Okay. Your electric meter measures the amount of electricity you use. Just as you purchase kilograms of meat, grams of milk, or liters of gasoline. You measure electricity in kilowatt hours. In an electromechanical meter, you will notice that there are five dials and inside each is a pointer which indicates the number to be read as pointers will alternately turn clockwise and counterclockwise. These dials measure the number of kilowatt hours. You use in ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. When reading electric meters, first, always read all the dials from right to left, starting from dial E to dial A. Next, read the number by pointer of the dial. Take note, when the pointer is between the two numbers, the lower number is recorded. Lastly, the pointer appears to be exactly on a number. Check the dial to the right to find out the correct reading. If the dial on the right has passed zero, then use the number the pointer is pointing on the dial you are reading. And if the dial has not passed zero, then make use of the smaller number on the dial you are reading. With the illustration, 
In dial E, the pointer does not point directly on 4, so record 3. Dial D, the pointer has just passed 9 and is between 9 and 0. Record as 9. Dial C, the next dial has passed 7 and is between 7 and 8. Again, record the smaller number which is 7. Dial B, the pointer looks like it is right on 4. But, the dial to its right has not passed 0. So, you would record this as 3. For dial A, the pointer is between 5 and 6. Record the smaller number which the pointer just passed, which is 5. The reading of the electric meter is 53,000. 793 kilowatt hours. Let's try this example. Your answer? Yes! The meter reads 07415 kilowatt hours or 7415 kilowatt hours. Another example. The meter reading is Correct! 24,128 kilowatt hours. Good job, kids! You are now familiar on how to read and interpret electric meter consumption and at the same time, solve the amount of electricity consumed in a month. The lesser the amount of electricity consumed in a month, the lesser the amount to pay for electric bill. In order to do that, you must learn to conserve energy. How are you going to do that? Very good! Unplug all appliances when not in use. It is not just about conserving energy. It is also for your safety. Moving on with water meter reading. The rules of reading a water meter, which dials are like the way an electric meter is being read. By the way, the unit of measurement to be used is cubic meter. To read water meters, first, start reading from right to left, clockwise. Read the number by the pointer of the dial. When the pointer is between two numbers, the lower number is recorded. Second, when the pointer is directly on the number, look at the dial to the right. If it has passed zero, use the higher number. If the dial has not passed zero, use the lower number. Third, record the numbers from right to left. Let us try this example. Make sure to follow the rules in recording the numbers. What is your answer? Alright, the water meter reading is 3,518 cubic meters. Another example. Your answer please? Good, it's 1,480 cubic meters or 1,480 cubic meters. This time, we will analyze this word problem. Alnor's record of their water consumptions are as follows. Initial reading, 0,114 cubic meters or 114 cubic meters. January, 0,256. February, 0,459. March, 0651. On what month did he use most water? How many cubic meters of water did they use for three months? Solve the average monthly consumption in cubic meters. First, understand. What are asked? The month which they used the most amount of water. 
total amount of water in cubic meters consumed within three months period. The average monthly consumption in cubic meters. What are the given facts? Initial reading, 0114 cubic meters or 114 cubic meters. January reading, 0256 cubic meters or 256 cubic meters. February reading, 0459 cubic meters or 459 cubic meters. March reading, 0651 cubic meters or 651 cubic meters. Plan. What operation or operations to be used? Find the amount of water they consume every month by subtracting the initial reading from the first month's reading. Then the previous month's reading from the current month's reading and so on. To identify the month which they use the most water. To get the total amount of water consumed, Add all the water consumption for 3 months. And to get the average monthly consumption, divide the total from B by 3, the number of months covered. So, for A, we have February. For B, 537 cubic meters. And for C, 179 cubic meters. As shown in the problem, Alder used most water during the month of February. To avoid much consumption of water, close the faucet well every after use. It's time for you to apply what you have learned during our discussion. For activity A, Write the correct reading of the following dials. Number 1 Number 2 For activity B, solve the following word problems. The electric meter reading of Akyatan's family last month was 7,628 kilowatt hours. The present reading was 8,340 kilowatt hours. How much electricity was consumed in one month? Next problem. The previous water meter reading at Mike's residence was 3,142 cubic meters. The following month, the reading was 3,206 cubic meters. How much water consumed in one month? You are given two minutes to answer the activities. Are you ready? You may start now.
time is up. Let's check your work. For number one, 3,486 kilowatt hours. Number two, 4,678 cubic meters. Number three, 712 kilowatt hours. And number four, 64 cubic meters. You did great today, kids. Keep up the good work. For more activities, answer your learning activity sheets, quarter four, week three. That's all for today, kids. Goodbye and see you next time.